Alright, so trickle charger versus battery maintainer. Well, seem like terms that commonly get confused, so let's kind of talk about it, try to sort it out a little bit. Basically, on the left here, you've got Schumacher's battery maintainer. It's 1.5 amp. This does 12 or 6 volt, and it's fully automatic, which means it will not overcharge a battery. And on the other hand, you have what I would define as being a trickle charger, which is this 12 volt, 1 amp manual battery charger that Schumacher makes, the SE1. So basically the big difference to me would be a trickle charger is manual, whereas a battery maintainer is automatic and offers a float mode. And kind of the term, you know, some of these terms are interchangeable. I mean, a lot of times I'll refer to a battery maintainer as a battery tender, which is like a name brand instead of what it actually is. Uh, probably just kind of comes to mind because it seems like an accurate description of what it does. So I'm kind of guilty of that. I'll call a maintainer a battery tender, even though that's a name brand and that's not really what it is. But anyways, like I said, a trickle charger to me also kind of means like low amperage, like something below two amps, you know, a one or 1.5 amp because it is a very slow charge rate. So, you know, you think of that when you kind of compare charging a battery to, you know, like filling a glass with water, you know, one amp is really low. Like think of a, just barely turning a spigot on to get water out and trying to fill a large glass, you know, it would just take a long time. Whereas like if you had a 12 amp charger, 12 amps would be the equivalent of, you know, more water coming out of that spigot, opening it, opening it wider to allow more water to come out. So kind of a little analogy there, but it's like terminology that gets screwed up sometimes. So I figured I'd make a video and try to kind of clear that up. So yeah, to me, trickle charger just kind of means, you know, low amperage and manual operation and a battery maintainer will be kind of pretty much in the same ballpark as far as amperage or low amperage, yet uh, it's going to offer fully automatic capabilities.